It was late fall. I remember that clearly. When all of a sudden, I got this weird feeling that something wasn't right. Like the feeling you get when the weather suddenly changes for the worse. When I open the door, there's an old guy standing there I'd never seen before. Well, holy cows, tell him what happened. Oh, well, uh, he's eating my hot dish. And then the next thing I know, I, I turn around and he's dead. So we phoned Marty. Marty's my brother, and we figured he'd know what to do. I, I got the call right away, and I headed right over. So I told Carl and Gail we needed to take care of the body. So I called Les. Face first in a bowl of hot dish. <laughs> Carl sure had some cleaning up to do after that. <laughs> I started to get these collect phone calls from a guy I never heard of asking about a recipe. So I said that maybe the old man who died at the table left it. Now, Carl hadn't told us about a recipe, Ludafisk recipe. The point here is that your life was being threatened over an old Ludafisk recipe. I said, geez, Carl, you stumbled smack dab in the middle of an organized crime dispute. Oof, <sighs> Now, how did an average guy like me get mixed up with the Norwegian Mafia? At noon, the Mafia family showed up with their hot dishes. How are you going to give the recipe to both families at the same time without them killing you? You see what I'm saying? Pandemonium like you'd expect at a Pentecostal rally. Sometimes I think if I weren't out here keeping the peace, I don't know what would happen. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ludafisk. 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 Hi, Mr. 